When the concept of a submarine-launched missile was first proposed in 1955, skeptics said it could never work. But the successful launch of a Polaris test missile from the submarine USS George Washington on 20 July 1960 ushered in the era of the fleet ballistic missile, and the Navy's submarine-based weapon system has stood the test of time. The Navy's first fleet ballistic missile, the Polaris A-1, had a range of 1,200 nautical miles. The Polaris program extended the missile's reach, achieving a range of 2,500 nautical miles with the A-3 missile. Then the Poseidon, or C-3 missile, introduced multiple warheads, each capable of reaching a separate target, significantly enhancing the system's effectiveness. And the Trident development program resulted in a more survivable deterrent, an improved missile with a range of 4,000 nautical miles, and a new submarine, faster, quieter, and most of all, larger, carrying 24 missiles instead of 16. The, the Trident or D-5 missiles carried on board the Tennessee-class submarines, the newest and most powerful in the Navy's underwater arsenal, incorporate major advances in missile design and manufacturing. For example, graphite epoxy, an extremely strong yet lightweight material, is used for the casings of the solid propellant rocket motors. This, along with other advancements, allows the Trident II missile to achieve a range greater than the 4,000 nautical mile reach of the Trident I. Nuclear missiles have been developed to face the unique challenges presented by a world military arena. The Boeing air-launched cruise missile is a small, extremely versatile, unmanned, self-guided airplane that is capable of electronically reading the terrain over which it flies. It compares these readings with maps stored in its onboard computer, guiding itself through the enemy's defense system to predetermined targets. Operational missiles are armed with W-80 nuclear warheads and fly at subsonic speeds. The ALCM's range of more than 1,500 miles and low radar cross-section give the Air Force a weapon that can be launched over non-hostile territory and still reach major targets. It is carried by the B-52 bomber and is compatible with the BB-1B long-range combat aircraft. One B-52 bomber is capable of carrying 20 ACLMs.